What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. Back with another SketchUp Essentials lesson for you today. I've always, uh, I've always been a little bit OCD, but I always kind of liked um, keeping my keeping everything in my models organized. Uh, it just makes everything a little bit easier for me to get to, especially when I start dealing with bigger models and stuff like that. One tool that I always use in order to do this is the outliner. So the outliner is a section that's found in the tray um, on the right hand side of your screen. If you don't have the tray, you can go up to window and uh, under default tray, um, you can just click show tray just like this. And uh, one of the options that's going to be in here is this option that says outliner. And basically what the outliner is, is it's a section that lists all of your groups and components and the ways that, ways that they're grouped in your model. So um, in a default model, for example, uh, it always comes in with this default uh, component um, named Chris in SketchUp 2017. And uh, as you can see, since Chris is a group, in your model, Chris shows up on this list right here, and you can come in here and you can uh, edit the various information regarding uh, the Chris model just by right-clicking on this piece right here. So you can come in here and you can rename it. You can come in here and hide, unhide. So there's there's a fair amount of things you can do in here, but um, let's let's go ahead and get a little bit more in depth with this. So. So let's say, for example, that I've got this rectangle here. And let's say that I extrude it and I make it a group. So if I click in here and I make it a group, as you can see, that shows up in your outliner as group. So as soon as you create a group, it's going to show up in your outliner. So anyway, as soon as you create this rectangle and uh, you make it into a group, you can see group shows up in your outliner, just like this. So it, sh it starts off very generic when this goes in here. Um, and then if I come in here and I create another one of these, then that'll also show up as group. So, and this will happen as many times as you create new objects that come in here. So they'll, they'll just start off and they'll just come in here as generic groups. But what you can do is you can come in here and you can right click on it and you can rename it. So you can call this small rectangle. You can click on this one and you can call it big rectangle. That way you know what your different items are in your group. So and that way you can come in here and if you uh, hide an object in your model you can see that this turns gray. So all of the items that um, are hidden in your model are going to be gray in the outliner. And you can come in here and you can manage that visibility. So you can come in here and right click on these and click hide. You can click unhide. So you can manage that stuff. You can also nest groups in here. So let's say, for example, that I made another group in here and I called it medium rectangle. Just like this. So now I've got three rectangles in here. You can, what you can do is remember that in the past what we've done is we've done a shift click and we've right clicked and we've put things, you know, multiple groups in a group. So it's called nesting groups. So you can do that here. So each one of these groups is now in here. And what you, what happens when you do that is all of the items in the group show up with this little file structure underneath your main group. So you can call this like group of. rectangles and then you can minimize that so that you know that your group of rectangles is here and then you can maximize it when you want to get in here and actually uh, edit the individual pieces so you can use that to keep everything kind of uh, managed uh, and uh, organized and I've actually done this in the past where I've been pulling quantities out of giant architectural models and I've used this to uh, group different geometry so that I could more easily quantify stuff so you can definitely use this to manage groups and then if you come in here and you delete all of these then uh, they'll they'll be removed out of your outliner as well so and you can also click and drag so if I wanted to put you know my big rectangle and my small rectangle and my medium rectangle group you can click and drag those or if you want to get things back out of groups you can just drag them into an upper level thing so it's a lot like uh, you know dealing with file structure in um, Windows Explorer or anything else like that I mean if you just think of these as like files you kind of manage them the same thing and the other thing about these is if you look up here in the entity info once you name these the instance item in here becomes 
your group name. So if I was to come in here and call this extra big rectangle in the instance box up here, then that would change the name of your item down here. So the name of each individual instance of an item also shows up in the instance box in the entity info. So now that we kind of have an idea of what these things do for uh, groups, let's talk a little bit about components. I know we've done a whole lot with components um, in the past. So, and for those of you that aren't familiar with components, components are basically um, repeating instances of the same group where if you change things in one of them, it'll change in all of them. So I'll give you a quick example. So if I go ahead and create this kind of cylinder looking shape, and I come in here and make it a component, you know, then it asks me to name the component. And if I don't do that, you can see this will just put this in here just as component number one. Um, so let's undo that. But if I do, if I go in here and I click component and I call this cylinder, it's going to call this instance of this item cylinder in here. So you see that shows up and it's kind of inside these uh, inside these little brackets. And so what we can do is if I make a copy of this, then another copy of the cylinder shows up. And if I make like five copies of this, so I have five total, all of these different instances all show up in the list just as cylinder like this but you can come in here and for each one of these if you want you can go ahead and name each individual one so like left cylinder you can see what happens even though these are copies of the same thing you can name individual ones in here so you can use that to kind of manage these things so you could come in here and you could call this one right cylinder but as you can see it still keeps the name of the component over here so it's still showing you that these are all instances of the item cylinder right here and uh, like like we talked about these are all the same instance of the same or they're all the same component so you can come in here and edit one of these and all of them will change so what happens so in the past what we've done is you can shift click and you can make items unique Right, so if you wanted to take these two and make them different from the other components in here, you could select them and you could right click and click make unique. And you see what that does is that renames these into cylinder number one. So now these four items all say cylinder, they're all instances of the same item. So now if I come in here and I change these, only these four change. And if I change this one, then the one on the end will change as well. So what this does is it gives you an indication every time you've got something with the same name like this. So every time you've got cylinder in here, you know that it's an instance of the same item. And then what you can do is you can come in here and you can group these. And you can call this uh, base cylinders. And then you can group these two. and you can call it end cylinders and so if I move this down you can see that the group called end cylinders contains these two items right here and this gives you a whole lot of flexibility whoops because you can come in here and you can hide individual items if you want you can, this is also a great way when you start getting a ton of things in your model to figure out what's hidden and what isn't so you can come in here and if you've organized this well you can come in here and see exactly what you're showing and what you're not now if you haven't organized this well um, I've come in here and I've just had like thousands of groups in here and nothing else so you kinda have to keep up with it as you go otherwise you can kinda get yourself in trouble but um, it's just a really great way to come in here and just manage a whole bunch of stuff and as you can see if I right click on one of these items you get the same kind of menu generally speaking as you get if you right click on the item out here with a couple extra things like renaming and stuff like that so you know if you wanted to come in here and you wanted to lock a couple of these items so that you couldn't change them um, you see when I try to edit another instance of this um, it tells me that I can't do that because some instances some instances of the component are locked so you can see in here a whole lot of information about these different items 
Um, you can also come in here and if you don't like double clicking, you can click edit component and you can get in here and uh, just pick whichever one of these you want to edit just by right clicking and clicking edit component. So it's just a real powerful way to kind of manage stuff in your model. And um, I, I just love using it. It just, you know, especially once you start dealing with really big models, it makes your life so much easier to be able to kind of manage where everything is um, and kind of know where everything is and be able to see all of that. And it's just a really great way um, to keep everything organized. But also, I, I don't know if you've ever done this, once you start like nesting components and stuff like that and you start hiding things inside groups and then you're outside groups and you click unhide and things won't unhide because you're not inside the group, you know, that you were in before. Um, it's just a, a much easier way to come in here and manage all of this stuff. So anyway, this is just a quick overview of the outliner. You know, originally I didn't know how to use, but now now that I now that I do, I love it. It really makes my life a whole lot easier. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Are you guys using this tool? Did you even know it was here? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Uh, also, if you wouldn't mind taking a second and clicking that like button, I'd really appreciate it. That'd really help me out. And uh, as always, if you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button. Um, coming out with new SketchUp tutorials and videos all the time, and I'd love to have you along for the ride. And um, just wanted to say thank you again for uh, you guys taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. So in any case, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.